I'm going to get a ton of hate for this video, but regardless, I hope the point comes across. Let me ask you a question. When people talk about eating healthy, what is like, no matter where, you know, what background the person comes from, whether they have been eating healthy, they've never eaten healthy, they're from this country, this country, what's like the number one thing that people say when it comes to eating healthy? They say, hey, eat your veggies. Now, I'm not making this video to be like, don't eat vegetables. I'm, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is this, if the leading health advice for the last several decades has been, hey, eat vegetables, fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables, but what's happening? People's health all around the world is getting worse. And so is it a good idea to eat fruits and vegetables? Of course it is. Of course. However, let me give you a different perspective. What a lot of people don't know is that when you eat vegetables... When you eat plant fiber and, you know, you chew it, you know, of course, part of your saliva starts to break down the food and our body has different digestive processes, but our stomach actually doesn't break down plant fiber. What actually breaks down plant fiber whenever you eat a fruit or vegetable or any plant fiber is your gut microbiome. Your gut microbiome is what processes and breaks down that plant fiber fiber. Now your gut microbiome is almost like a, it's like another human being. It's like you have a baby living inside of you that you have to take care of. And for so many of us, if you've lived in a modern country, especially if you're younger, your gut microbiome is probably unstable. Like the fact that you're watching this video, the fact that you maybe have a face up uh, autoimmune issues like uh, asthma issues with your skin, other issues uh, like nausea, you have stomach problems, um, and even other issues too, like social anxiety and anxiety and depression in general. And I know this may sound crazy if you've never heard of this. You're like, oh, this is like one big scam or some conspiracy. Essentially, what happens is a lot of our guts are, are messed up. And so what happens is whenever we eat a fruit or vegetable, we eat a plant fiber, because our gut is already messed up, there is a likelihood that whenever our gut is going to process anything because it's unstable, it's actually going to be a bad thing. Because when your gut tries to process that plant fiber, because your gut has been messed up for so long, it's in dysbiosis, anything is going to irritate it and cause inflammation. And so I want you to imagine this. the vast majority of people today in our society are walking around with problems in their gut microbiome that creates problems in their physical health, as well as their mental health as well. What actually starts to happen is that they get told, Hey, eat more fruits and vegetables, eat more fruits and vegetables, eat more fiber, eat more fiber. Guess what? Inflammation, inflammation, inflammation. If their gut is already messed up, which again, remember a lot of people's is already what's happening is that if your gut is messed up and it's constantly causing inflammation, what's actually going to happen is that digestion, your ability to absorb nutrients is going to be impaired, which means that any food that you eat, your body's not going to be able to truly utilize it. And this is what brings us to a lot of the health issues that people have today. This is why the title of this video is why vegetables may not always help is because if your gut is messed up, what you actually need to do is you actually need to take a break from consuming plant fiber, from turning on your gut microbiome again and again and again. And you need to give your body nutrition through other ways. Your gut doesn't process protein. Your gut doesn't process fat. Again, I'm not saying that all carbs are bad or anything like that. I'm not saying that vegetables are bad. I eat vegetables every day. However, in the past, when my gut microbiome was messed up, there were a lot of things that I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat uh, almonds. I couldn't eat oatmeal. Uh, I couldn't eat blueberries. After taking a deep dive into my gut microbiome and learning and then recovering and healing my gut, I can eat almonds and, and blueberries and spinach was another one. Now I can eat spinach now. If you take away anything from this video, don't take away, I need to eat less vegetables. No, take away that you need to take a look at your gut microbiome. Maybe you look at it with a, a gut specialist, a doctor, someone, and you need to follow a protocol to heal and recover your gut. And then slowly you start to add in vegetables and they actually help you. But so many of us, are going to all these random cafes and all these random restaurants buying these crappy salads. 
that are literally just like lettuce and croutons and tomatoes and carrots and peppers and like all these little like tiny plants that like, do they really give you that much nutrition? Are they really fueling your body that much? I'm not saying they're bad for you. You should definitely eat vegetables. But then you take that salad and then you open the dressing and then you pour that in and then you look at the ingredients in the dressing and the dressing is literally a, a sugar industrial oil glaze. So you're literally taking sugar and you're taking industrialized oils, combining them together, putting that in a dressing and then literally eating like leaves, you're literally, like leaves, lettuce. I'm not saying I eat lettuce. I eat, like I'm not saying don't eat that, but I'm saying is. The fact that this narrative has been pushed for so long has created a world where it doesn't work. And in fact, there's a percentage of people whose you know, gut microbiomes are not healthy where they can actually potentially be harmed by that advice of eating more vegetables and fruits. And so again, I eat fruits and vegetables every day. I'm not saying don't eat fruits and vegetables. That's not the takeaway. The takeaway is heal your gut microbiome, okay? But also eat other foods. I'm a big proponent of high quality animal products that are made out of protein and fat. Not all of them. And there's separate videos that I've made on that. But that's a great way to get your nutrients and especially the nutrients that your brain needs. Especially the nutrients that your brain needs are a lot of the times found in animal products, high quality animal products. And so eat your vegetables, but that's not the only health advice that you should take. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Mark Metry. Subscribe, share with a friend, comment below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.